I'm Marissa Borderly, and today we're spending five minutes with the mayor of Tecumseh, Gary McNamara. So what inspires you to get into politics? Well, a few years back, uh, more like 21 years ago, uh, my interest at, at the time was uh, a sports complex that uh, was lacking in our community. Uh, probably five or six years uh, prior to my actual uh, campaign, uh, I was working as a community leader, and uh, at the time it wasn't happening. And uh, so there was a, an individual at the time, was a reeve of uh, our community, uh, Ed Reno, and uh, they said, you know, if you really want this uh, complex, maybe you should run for council. So I took his advice and ran for council, and uh, 21 years later, here I am today. So how long, how long have you been mayor? I've been mayor since 2003. Okay, in your opinion, what is your most important function as a municipal, a municipal mayor? Well, uh, it's to try to, uh, to create a, a community that's welcoming, uh, affordable, and efficiently run. So if, if, you can, if you can balance all of that, then, uh, then uh, you know, you're doing a pretty decent job. So can you tell me about some exciting projects coming up in Tecumseh? Well, we've just announced uh, uh, this fall the reopening of, of some land development in our community. The last few years it's been a little bit slow going, uh, but we've got two large track of land that uh, are opening. The Manning Road uh, Corridor, as well as the Banwell Road Corridor, which is going to certainly complement the new school that's just been built, the uh, Tecumseh Vista Academy. So we're pretty excited about the fact that uh, we're back in business in the development business. Uh, what are some advantages to being so close to a big city like Windsor? Well, uh, some of the advantage, not only uh, the big city of Windsor, but the, I look at the, the, like the metropolitan area, including the, the city of Detroit. Uh, when, you, uh, when you think of it, we are uh, very, very uh, fortunate that we have access to all professional sports, work, uh, health care, centers of excellence like St. Clair College, uh, the University of Windsor. Uh, but the real benefit of living in a smaller community close by is I call it small town living, you know, at, uh, you know, or big city living at small town prices. So there, there are some, uh, some advantages in obviously of being close to a metropolitan area. Uh, but again, uh, it, it, it's really nice to live in a smaller community where um, servicing, uh, your, your contact with uh, your municipal council, uh, you're much closer to the people. Uh, so all in all, we're very fortunate to be, uh, you know, in our geographical area. Are there any disadvantages? Well, there's always disadvantages where uh, the big brother, I'll call it, you know, that sometimes they have uh, expansion uh, uh, ideas where they uh, want to incorporate more lands uh, within, uh, within their area. That's always been uh, an issue for uh, the county of Essex, especially uh, the town of Tecumseh and, and the town of LaSalle, being so close to, uh, to the big center. And that probably for many uh, will remember uh, the expansion uh, wishes of the city back into the 1990s. So has there been any recent talk about amalgamation? Uh, no. What is your opinion on it? Well, amalgamations, uh, um, I, I guess, will serve, serve some purpose. But realistically, uh, bigger is not necessarily better. Uh, when we look at uh, servicing our community, as I said earlier, we're, we're so close to our, our, our constituents and the access to uh, the, their municipal council as well, uh, much easier than, uh, than bigger corporations where there's layers and layers of bureaucracy. Uh, if you look at the delivery of services, uh, we, uh, we feel that we're far more cost effective in a smaller community than we are in a bigger city. Okay. And um, what will your future be? Are you planning to stay in politics? The immediate uh, future, uh, there's still business, uh, you know, that I, I feel uh, need to be done in the town. Um, a lot of it in terms of the servicing areas, we're just now starting to realize with those lands that we're now opening up. Uh, one of the areas is, is getting ourselves prepared after this uh, global, uh, uh, global meltdown in terms of the economy. Uh, we're now starting just to see a bit of daylight. Uh, just recently, we've introduced a new company um, in, in our area called Windsor uh, uh, Medical uh, Supplies, uh, which is now creating 120 new jobs in, uh, in the Windsor and Essex uh, County area. 
and uh, we are also working on establishing two other uh, companies uh, that are very interested in establishing themselves here. So there's still some unfinished business, and I think there's uh, I still have some to, uh, some things to offer to uh, uh, to our community. And where do you see to come see being in five years? In five years, uh, a community uh, on on the go, a community that's uh, um, well managed and uh, starting to grow again. Uh, where uh, people are, are going to want to uh, not only live there but want to work and play in, in, in a great community. Uh, so we see uh, the future uh, um, in the next five years, finally some, uh, some growth uh, coming uh, to our community. Thank you for joining us. I'm Marissa Borderly and you're watching 5 Minutes with Gary McNamara.